practice coach, win number one for you in your career here as the head coach. Hopefully the first of many and a nice victory for the squad tonight. Yeah, I thought, you know, the kids came out there and we did what we wanted to do. Um, we handled some adversity, thought we ran the football very well um, defensively. You know, they had a couple of big plays that popped on us, but, but after that we settled down and, and played really well. A little bit of a slow start for the guys here tonight, sort of just kind of getting their feet underneath them a little bit, maybe some jitters or things like that. But once you got the, the engines running here, it was really kind of hard to slow you guys down, it seemed. Well, you know, we felt like we had a good a, a good uh, fall camp, and we felt like we'd have the ability to come out and run the football, and so we were happy with that, you know, and... Uh, and we, and we did that, you know, and, and, and I thought our kids have worked extremely hard, and it showed, and it showed up tonight. Defensive effort in the second half was also huge, pitching shut out there in the second and really able to put that distance on them in the end. Well, you know, it, it's a good defensive unit, and, uh, and like I said, for, with the exception of a couple of mistakes that we made in the first half, I thought we played a pretty solid game. I think in a lot of ways special teams really had a lot to do with this. We were talking about it during the broadcast a lot. You know, blocked punt for a touchdown, big kickoff return by Wenslick. You know, other other special teams plays you can point to. You know, that, that one dimension that kind of goes overlooked was a big factor for you guys. Well, that's right. You know, and, and, and that's a big part of our game. And Coach Thomas, Brian Thomas, does a tremendous job there. And, uh, you, know, uh, you know, we get a blocked punt. We get some nice returns. But, it, but all of those things happen because other players are staying on blocks. And, and our kickoff cover team was very good good and you know so there was a lot of positive things now we'll go we'll always find mistakes so we'll go to film and we'll correct those but but it, it was a good win not a lot really in the way of the passing game today the running game was working pretty well just sort of a way to ease the quarterback into it but the offensive game plan seemed to work right what you were looking for all game long yeah you know we felt like we could come in and run the ball between the tackles we were able to do that um, so we were very happy with that and and um, you know we'll continue to work on some things and and continue to get more confidence another game next week against a team that you're a little more familiar with, the Hillsdale Chargers. What needs to happen this next week to get ready for them? Hillsdale's a very good football team. Um, you know, they play on Saturday. Uh, they've got a very good quarterback. They've got a good offensive football team. And uh, they will be a tremendous challenge, especially going on the road. So our kids really have to do a great job of preparing all week and getting ready for that team. Yeah, they put up a lot of points last year. You guys going to put up any clippings on that one, give any extra motivation for it? No, you know, the motivation in it is itself. When we watch the film, they'll see it, you know, and the, and the mistakes that we made and, and where we can improve on those things. And, you know, and, and hopefully we'll be ready to go down there and, and get after a good football team. Head coach Steve Olson, first career win. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. See you next week at Hillsdale. Obviously a big game for you personally and for the team. Uh, what went so well on the offensive side of the ball that you were able to find such great success? Yeah, you know, the offense has had great chemistry throughout this fall camp, and uh, we were able to get on our blocks and open up some holes, and the O-line did a great job tonight. I, I can't sing the praises enough. All right, looking forward to Hillsdale next week. What was so good about this week that you think can translate into a tough game at Hillsdale? You know, we, we really brought the run game this game. Uh, it's something we emphasize in the offseason. And it takes the pressure off our wide receivers and our quarterbacks, which I think is huge. And, you know, as long as we can and, uh, hit them, as long as we can hit the defenses right in the mouth, take the pressure off them, then we could have a good top notch offense. The main focus for right now is you know take what we did tonight and, and try to get better. Most teams make their most their uh, their most improvements from game one to game two. So uh, as long as we can improve on what we did tonight, we should be all right. Yeah, it's great to get that first win and get back out here against a different team for the first time in a long time and be able to just you know play football again against a different color. You know our offensive line played unbelievable tonight to open up some holes for both Johnny and James, and they were able to hit them and just. It, that makes my job so much easier. And our defense, holding them to 14 points, that's, that makes everything easier for me. Yeah, talk about that as, as an offensive player. When you see your defense going out there and making plays, does that give you guys a boost when you get out there and throw Oh, absolutely. Our defense has given us a huge boost, you know, by just stopping them. And they, you know, they get the crowd into it and get hype, and then we get to come out there and execute our, our jobs. And that just, it, it keeps the environment great. It keeps the game fun. Um, and, and it takes a lot of pressure off of us to be able to just go out there and know that they're going to have our backs no matter what. They struck early tonight during that first quarter, but you guys bounced right back. Do you feel like that was maybe a turning point in the game, even though it was very early in that first quarter? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we know that there's going to be some ebbs and flows, and, and we're going to face some adversity in a football game. It's a long game, and uh, that get, being able to come back out there, score real quick again, and just kind of go at them uh, really did help us out a lot. Now we're a little over a week away. Hillsdale on the road. Kind of your early thoughts on, on them 
after this big momentum win here tonight? Yeah, you know, they're they're always a great team. They always play us extremely tough. Um, it's kind of a fun game to go play down at, at Hillsdale because their school a lot like us, a very high academic institution. And um, going down there to play against them will be will be a lot of fun and um, look forward to it. Our interior did a great job not getting reached. They were good on their double teams, and really they're trying to pull some guys, but we were just able to blow everything up by getting off the ball, like you said. Hillsdale uh, coming up uh, next week. Uh, you know, it's a little over a week away. What does a win like this do for you in week one as you get ready for this? Yeah, great week one win. You know, we're on top of the world right now, so hopefully we can just keep that momentum going into next week, make it a little easier to prepare, and hopefully we'll be able to prepare well for a really good Hillsdale team.